Hello everybody, this is Sal from BCM and we have Chris also from BCM. And we'll today we'll be playing SimCity. Now I love this game and I also loved the SimCity 4 before it. Have you ever played SimCity, Chris? I have never, Sal. Alright, so in uh, so Chris hasn't, so this is gonna be fun. And um, if you haven't played SimCity, I highly recommend you go out and get it. So do you know what SimCity is about, Chris? Uh, I've the only Sims I'd ever played is like Sims. 2000 or something from okay, like so 10 years like ago. The legitimate Sims. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this is kind of the Sims, except with an entire city. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to explain too much of the game. We're just going to jump in. Cool. Yay. Yeah. I. Okay. So Sal's right. probably going to be explaining a lot of this stuff to me. Yeah. Um. Just so you know, I'm going to be the one playing. Chris is on a call with me, and uh, he's going to be my partner. So it's kind of like the reverse of the Pokemon series, where now <laughs> I have the power, and you have to sit down and watch me do whatever. I am an associate. So yes. To speak. All right. So, we're gonna create our own game because we want to go into a public server. Uh, so, we have a bunch of different regions over here. Like, um, do you see any right off the bat that jumps out at you? I. D what is this like landscapes? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll sc I'll sc scroll through a few. We're not actually. It should just be really between these two because these two over here and the other ones are huge. They have like eight sites for cities. Uh, okay. These are, like three and five, and are like much more manageable. So we have like this one. That one looks uh, nice. Yeah, this one has like s some mountains, some plains, and some Kinda rivers. Pleasant. Yeah, this one is like surrounded by like a cape and a coast and right. stuff like that. This one has uh, more more city sites though. So, do it. Let's do just, it. Let's just do whitewater. Here. That sounds good to me. All right. Fun fact: that's uh, this is actually the only region I've ever played on this game. For some <laughs> so, <laughs> I picked the good one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So you picked the good one. So we're not gonna do sandbox mode, so because we wanna do this legit. All right. What should we name the region? Uh, wait, we're, we're, like, what kind of name does it, do you give it? What? Uh, you give it whatever name you want. You want to call it, like, Shit Fartsville? No, Sal. No. Stop. The why? Bad. Yeah, I know. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think that. Just do, um, let's, let's do, uh, like, preface, preface BC it with BCN, yeah. Say BCN uh, Nation with a lowercase n. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Easy BCN enough. BCN Nation. Alright, so, this is where we pick the site for our first city, so... We have these five squares right here, which is our city sites. Okay. This circle site is a great works location, but we'll get to that later because it's something really advanced. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to click on these, and it kind of br brings up a little brief about like uh, what's in the city. So you don't really need to read the text, but the only thing you need to pay attention to is are these things right here. And these tell you what resources are in the city. Okay. Obviously, the more there is, the more there is present in the city. So we have coal over here. So there's like a medium amount ore, which has a lot oil low, water medium, and wind medium. So I'm just going to go flick through. Like, this one has tons of coal, but, like, no oil. Uh, this one has all water and nothing else. <laughs> nothing else, literally. Nothing else, literally. This one So what, are has... we trying to find, like, a good balance, I guess? Yeah, this stuff, one, um... well, because the good thing with this game, too, is once you start building cities, you can have, like, set up a residential city and have like no industry there and have a city where you just have all industry and commercial right so like suburb city type deal yeah yeah this one has this one's like would be good for like a setting up like a oil industry because oil makes a lot of money cool but i'll show you this one too this one has a lot of this one's a lot of everything except wind water i guess we don't really need so much because water we can get from this one yeah yeah this one's since this one's so high in resource i mean this could be like our industrial town basically yeah so like in so do you have one in mind you want to start with not really. I just. Right. I'll make just the executive decision. Roulette. <laughs> I'll say uh, this one. Okay. We're gonna claim it. Ooh, claim it. All right. We just claimed it. Oh. Let's go. I Woo. feel like we're like Steve jumping into the picture in Blue's Clues. Oh my God. All right. What you love that show? <laughs> I used I used to freaking love Blue's Clues. And not that I was devastated, but it took me so long to find out that he went to jail. And that's why they, couldn't, they, uh, they didn't have the him on the show. The original, wait, who, Joe or Steve? The original guy, Steve, yeah. he went to jail on some sort of drug charges. In the show, they said he's going to college. And it's like, yeah, you're going to college. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking never came back. <laughs> but, you know, all right. He went to a college and he, where he, he never he, come back. He went, he went to college. Uh, he met a nice woman, and uh, she has allergic to dogs. So, like everyone know. from every child TV show is like arrested now. Oh yeah, er everyone. Does like drugs. Power Rangers, I'm pretty sure one of them went. Yeah, one All of them right. is an MMA fighter now. All right, but we're we're detracting from the game. Okay. <laughs> He's an MMA fighter. 
Continue. He was the Black Power Ranger. Okay, that's not up. important. That's not right, surprising. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, Damn. this is our screen, and we have all of our little tools down here, which will uh, give us our utilities and build options over. Um, I'll, I'll explain what buttons do and stuff. As Before we do anything, we need to find out, like we have our main artery here, like what we're going to build our city around. Because if we open up this little data map area over here, it shows us where everything, like all the resources and stuff, should be in the city. Okay. So, it's the coal. We have like a little... Oh, as you wow. Say, like, yeah, like these data maps are great because it like shows you... A, topographic kind of. Yeah, we have it right there. We have like little bits of ore. I, I don't think we're going to be focusing too much on ore in the city because mm. there's just so little of it. But oil, Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. Yeah, so um, I think this might be our oil city. Is this the way they build real cities? Yeah, th this is how they build real cities. Oh, so, I was kind of joking. I'm I'm kidding, too. But Oh, oh okay, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, fine. All right, so the way I'm looking at it, it looks like all of our resources are in this upper area. So this should be where our industry stu and stuff is. Okay. And our first residence and commercial should be down here in this area because we also want to kind of keep it away from... Where I assume there would be lots of water if I can find the water button. Oh, it's probably the drop one. Yeah, yeah that one. Times. Yeah, like all of our water's down here. And we don't want to build a lot of industry on this. Otherwise, we'll start to get polluted. Mm. Uh, just before we start, I think we should check out like the wind map. because. Okay, there we go. Because this is uh, going to show us where pollution and stuff is going to blow. So it's going to blow all this way. So, wow, like, we don't is that a factor? Yeah, that's a factor that's in this so game. That's so weird. Like, you don't want to build like your residential over here and all your industry over here because all the wind will just blow onto the residential and they'll start complaining and getting sick and stuff. Okay. All right. That's weird. So, we actually need to start build building stuff now. So, unpause the game. We have first have to draw a road for uh, to actually you know get people stuff. So, the problem with this game is there's a lot of traffic problems. Like the, some of them are bugs and whatever. So I'm gonna start building like a high density like avenue. Down here, and that'll okay, be like our little. Yeah. That's uh, like, like the main draft. thing, yeah. Yeah, we can build off of. And I'll start building one up here because then we can start building some industry up there. And we just ripped through a lot of money doing nothing, but it's okay because we'll make it all later. Okay. Kind all right, so I'm going to spend before you make Yeah, it. yeah. Like th this part I'm just doing because there's not really much in input that you could provide at this point. Oh, well. Yeah, well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's like, oh my god, you know, he's spending Wait, so, so much. Were there, like, different buttons for main roads and smaller roads? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain. I'll go back to that really quick. I just want to start getting, like, set up here before we start, you know, lagging too far behind. So, what I just did is I just built some roads and I zoned for a residential area, which means houses will start growing there. But we have a problem, which is that we have... We need to provide power, water, and sewage. Basically, these functions down here mm. for things to actually grow. So a great little starter up thing is, even though it's not the best, our wind power plants, they're only 8,000, and they're pretty cheap to maintain. So let's place that. Um, place mm -hmm. a water tower. I, again, I'm, I'm just placing this right. because there's just not much input you could do right now. Started. Yeah, like I just went back into the uh, road section. This is our different types of roads that we can build. Like, um, I need to put a sewage outflow pipe, which is basically just a pipe where a bunch of shit just pours out of for now until we can build, like, a treatment plant. So I was building, like, a dirt road. It's, like, very inexpensive and, like, the, uh... Just to get things there. Yeah, like, this, the sewage will still come out of it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, like, going right now, like, fuck, that's you're a, doing so much stuff, but it's okay. That's a cool option, though. Yeah. Um, right. So I'm just gonna zone How much little... power does that wind plant, how much, like, will that do? I'll say it'll be enough for now. It's actually closed right now, but when it does, it'll be producing like something like, like eight megawatts or something like that, like uh, enough to get us started. Cool. Like we already have some people wow. in here. Pe oh my god. Yeah, people are moving in. They're it's still in, not right? enough to make up our deficit, and if it happens, we'll get a bond out. Like it won't, it won't be a problem. Like this little thing right here. Okay. One trade. All right, here it goes. Start working. Two point seven. All right. So I was wrong. But um, seven megawatts. Yeah, good thing is we're in the green now, even though we spent a lot of money getting these services going, that's okay, because we gotta spend money, make money. Where do you, where's our, like, is there a total where we stand financially thing? Yeah, right down, right down here. Oh, and it budget. shows you what's in your coffers right now and how much you're making per hour. Oh, cool. Oh, whenever something, like, important happens, like, this button comes up, like, the buttons start blinking. Hey, and we can set up a town hall. Oh, cool. Alright, so... Town hall is very important because uh, this is where we're going to be like any upgrades you want to our city, like any like 
bureaus or like uh, divisions. Like we have like a division of commerce, whatever, and like allows us to tax certain people and stuff like that. Mm. So, placement of city hall is kind of important because you need to like spread it, uh, be able to like spread it out. It's gonna cost two hundred bucks, but I think it's worth it. I think we can just like build it down here because we can just always demolish it later. You think that's okay? Yeah, no, that sounds fine to me. That's yeah, kind I mean, of in the, like the center of the area too. So. Yeah, we can always like plow over it and build it up. And look, everyone got so freaking oh, happy. Dude, like, wow! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, hey. So, hey, we can name our city. All right. Oh man, this is important. Right. Oh man. All right, this this is this is it. We can change the name again. So no, it has to stay the same right. forever. So. Right now, and names quickly, quickly, quickly. Because uh, if you decide a name, then I'm gonna decide a name. DC and Brookstone. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Store. No. Uh, yes, but no. It also yes. kind of sounds like a town. Uh, oh, it it does actually. Yeah. All right, so I I'm moving along because like, again. Yeah, it's perfect. Not much you can do. Um, I'm just gonna set up a uh, low density road over here because I want to start zoning some industrial here. And right now I'm just doing this like half-assed. Like I'm like, okay, we need to like throw something here, throw something here. Right. I'm not doing that a lot of planning because we don't have a lot of money to spend right now. I so I, I'm just trying to like set up the basic, uh, like the basic. Why did I not do this? Like set up on both sides of the road like a normal person. Residents of BC and Brookstone. Yeah, they're in BC and Brookstone. They're gonna um, all these stores over here. They sell like massage chairs and like you know like oh no it's raining little heaty stones yeah it i'm never, trying to never make rains. reference it, yeah it never rains oh in, damn in it. it oh i'm so sorry uh, Zella. I, what you were trying to make a reference that i don't like to do it yeah i was trying to make my my joke actually let's see what businesses we have here like we have is that a sink or sausage the, these that these sound, wait very, wait wait that uh, doesn't sound very what this one sink sink or, or sausage i guess it's like sink or swim, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get. Oh, I right. thought they literally sold sinks and sausages. It, I was like, it doesn't seem be. like those two things would go together. <laughs> that may or may not happen. I'm just expanding out over here because we want to get some more people pay anything, pay their taxes. Anything can happen in BC and Brookstone. Yeah. Oh, BC, and Brookstone. BC and Brookstone is basically like Disneyland. For the average middle class person. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Right now, we're not even freaking middle class. We're like low, low Shanty class. Town? Look down here. Oh God. Like, yeah. Yeah. A, they have they have people. B, these are like all like shitty little mobile homes, like Damn, shitty little RV. Suck. Like they they can. They all can right. Those aren't too bad. Yeah. Like, oh, the but, right. they, but they can afford like two cars, but they're still living in like the, the Youngs are still living in like a little trailer. Yeah. We're we're gonna be upgrading okay. these into like okay. white picket fence, dog in the yard houses. So Ooh, don't worry. We we'll work our way up. Yep. So oh, that's we have like crisis. Why did you exit out of there? What? Well, uh, sorry, I was just looking at it. Yeah. All right. We're uh, in trouble, man. Crisis. Oh yeah, because we are. We have more people than we have jobs right now. So as you can see, we have a few factories built up here. I'm just gonna zone for some more of it. Again, just really haphazard. We'll demolish over some of it and we'll plan it better later. Mm. This will be like a little industrial zone. Like we said, we want all this to be like industrial up here. So, uh, you know, oh, good. We actually have um, enough people to build like some specialty stuff, like ore mines and coal mines, and then like oil refineries and extractors and stuff like that. So that's good because that these are stuff that makes us a lot of money later on. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, um, all right, if I open up this again. This is like our, our demand chart down here, and it basically um, shows us. You just tell me in text. Yeah. Yes, I'm watching it, Chris. <laughs> yes, I, I'm watching the time. But um. Shut up! Now, now, you, damn it! All right. So I was trying yeah, to be no, incognito, no, man. No, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Like, why do you go climb? It. All right. Anyway, back to the game. We have um these demand charts down here, and they show us what people want right now, and we they break it break. Jeez, residential and commercial Ooh. up by uh, money class. Like we have low class. Like in case you didn't notice, like this symbol right here, it's like simoleons. This is like basically the dollar symbol. Yeah. Um, and you you have your um wealth classes down here. And all right, so you see what I mean by like broken traffic, r like right here. Ooh, when did that become like a highway? This became a highway when I built every road off of it. Oh, <laughs> I you never zoomed into it before. That's why I didn't. Yeah, see yeah, it. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, we can upgrade these roads too. And again, this is very slap shot. It's very, we need to start making money so we can actually do some stuff later. Right, looks okay. Um, yeah. So, 
We have the uh, a lot of demand for middle class residents right now. Mm. Not so much for low. And we have absolutely like no high wealth demand whatsoever. So the way we do that is we make the land value go up. If we open one of these charts, we have our land value map. And you can see we have some negative influencers for land value, which would just be basically anything industrial just like kill the land value. Like all these factories, whatever, are just making this like land like totally undesirable. Right. But we can improve land value by making like clinics and hospitals and police stations and stuff like that. And also by parks. Parks are a great way to start uh, updating like um, some uh, classes. You basically do that by making people happier. The happier they are, the more they want to upgrade. The more they want to so, pay our taxes. <laughs> yeah, they want to pay more taxes. Like we're in 3000 which is good because we're just making a lot of money. Cool. So this tall tree row right here is basically like the best fucking thing you can do to make people upgrade since it has such a big area of effect. Like it makes so many people happy oh, and it makes sweet. so many value like, up. So like if we look now, like we have like this white is basically all like uh, low class. If we place this, like we start to see that it's starting to get a little more, a uh, little more fluid, not by much. But if we keep placing these, like that pocket right there just got very. <laughs> That's like a cheap well way to just like. Yeah. We'll place like different parks. Like we'll place a park right here. Like here we go. Like this area just like got so much better. This area right here. And actually, if we zoom out, because I'm just seeing it now. People are already upgrading their houses. Oh, wow. Like, oh, like, look, yeah. they're making... Uh... Yep, right now we have, like, the, the white picket fence houses and stuff like that. And if we... Oh, those are nice. Thing, yeah, if you see right here, our low... Our Ooh, is that a lake? Went down. Yeah, it's a little pond I, I put, like, really quick while... I, I didn't tell anyone about it. I just kind of did it. That's awesome. Like, the, the cool thing about a lot of stuff, too, is you can add on to stuff. So, like, if you see, like, right here, how we have, like, this little empty space right here. There's no houses or anything. Yeah. Like we can add if we can have room for it, we can, can add, add on like, water. <laughs> like we can add like another pond onto it and that'll oh. increase it. And this is even better because like these snap points, like the blue things right here, like it'll go over yellow if you have to demolish something. Like right here, we can increase the value without like having without to demolish taking out anything else. Yeah. All right. So there it is. Boom. We just reduced light. our wealth. We have a bunch of white picket fence houses now, and it's really good. And you know what? I think we're going to call it for this episode for, uh, sounds for good right to me. now. We set up so, yep, a nice so, little town. Yep, we set up a nice little town. We have some of our factories going. We have commercials. Um, we have our town hall and water and stuff like that. So next episode, I think we'll start focusing on specializing, uh, organizing the town, and just making it better overall. BCN right, and Brookstone so, for life. Yep, BCN and Brookstone. This Buy has been Sal. And Chris. And Chris. All right, so just remember to hit that uh, like button, subscribe, and leave a comment too. Uh, this is not just me and Chris' city. This is your uh, your city. This is the this nation, is your man. City. This is my city. Yes, this is the BCN Nation. Leave a comment. Tell us what you want to do. Uh, you want us to, I don't know, make a peace sign, an uh, anarchist sign, whatever. We'll uh, <laughs> look at all. All right, maybe not the second one, but. <laughs> all right, maybe not the second one. All right. So thank you, everybody. Drop all right, thank you. Good night. BCN Brookstone for life. I right, I say F9. That brought wow. The whoa, dude, you're yeah, freaking me out. Yeah, this this is just like showing people like how if they want to increase their density, like farm buildings. I'll but I should start density. before I do that. I'll take you out. All right, trash. so I'm just gonna pause the game right now. No. One second. You gotta get a little drink of water. Cool. All right. That was good. Yep. All right. So let me just stop the clock now.